This UCSD TV program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest programs. I'm an astrophysicist and I study um, the interstellar medium in galaxies. That is the gas and dust that exist between the stars. I think dust is one of the most fascinating things in astronomy. Interstellar dust is really nothing like dust on Earth. Dust on Earth can be, you know, very gross things actually, like dead skin cells and hair and stuff like that. We think that there are two different types of dust that exist in space, carbon-rich dust that's more like soot, and then silicate-rich dust, which is more like sand. But the dust particles in space are actually much smaller than dust that we would encounter on Earth. The grains are, are tiny. My favorite kind of dust is actually a type of dust called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are rings of carbon with hydrogens attached on the outside, um, and you can build up multiple rings attached together um, into different structures. When they absorb a photon, their little carbon skeleton vibrates in specific ways, and that vibration can then emit a photon. When they emit, it tends to be in the infrared, so it converts this energy into infrared photons. Sometimes when a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon absorbs an ultraviolet photon, there's enough energy in that photon that kicks out an electron. And this is just a matter of probability. If it kicks out this electron, this electron heats the gas in the interstellar medium. And that process is called the photoelectric effect. A lot of my work has been observing those features in the infrared part of the spectrum that come from these vibrations of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These microphysics are very important because they set the temperature of interstellar gas. Interstellar gas exists in this turbulent state. There's all kinds of variations in density and temperature. There's all of these factors that influence how interstellar gas is organized, but these microphysics of dust are what set the temperature. Dust shields the cold, dense regions where new stars are forming. But if dust wasn't there, the UV photons from other stars would be able to go into these regions and break up the molecules that are necessary for the cooling and collapse of gas into new stars. So what I do is I make maps of nearby galaxies, looking at the infrared light from dust, and I use that to infer how much dust there is and what it's made of and how it changes depending on where you're looking in a galaxy. There's an array of telescopes called the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile that allows you to see extremely fine detail in the distribution of gas and dust in nearby galaxies. I've been using ALMA to try to understand how dust and gas interact in the small Magellanic Cloud. This is a really cool galaxy. I also really like the Andromeda Galaxy, another neighbor of the Milky Ways. It's quite a bit further away and a bit older. I think what captures my imagination about studying the interstellar medium and dust is that it's a very complex system with a lot of different parts. It's a lot more like studying, I think, climate. It's trying to understand a complicated system, and that really appeals to me. I think it's also interesting because it's so fundamental to how galaxies work and how planets formed and how eventually we got to life on Earth. Mm -hmm. 